but I know me fish a man But I'm to catch this fish up Me I'm to drop this fish up Hey guys, welcome back to Mother's Lifestyle. It's the reaction video. <laughs> Who made it to the table? You and I were here. We're back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. Quick reminder if you love me, I love you back. I love you what, what I love you back to back. Mm -mm -mm. Backpackers everywhere, lazy people. Where's my backpacker? Of course, one leg. We made it to London. <laughs> hey, yes, we finally left. We had to leave. We had to find our way. <laughs> hey, bad friendship is not our mate. Hey, if you doubt it, you will collect sharp sharp. Did we not want Sean? We saw this one coming. We saw all the insults. This showered Sean with insult. In fact, she made sure she loaded her luggage with insults. She made sure she loaded Sean's luggages with insults. Bags and bags of insults. First of all, have you seen them? You know, fake farewell for formality's sake. Taking, have you seen how D can pretend, guys? She took Sean to the airport, but when Sean went to the waterfall, she didn't accompany her. Your best friend. Oh, you're always welcome to Jamaica. She's already acting like she's Jamaican. I don't get it. Coco Mama, I know your blood pressure is very high this morning, but take it one step at a time. What is this? Have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbable. Me, I got my bottle of water here. Hey, guys, I thought I have seen it all. The king is in Nairobi. Come and see activation. Can you imagine, like Coco Mama, I always have my handbag on my left arm. I think most ladies are like that. Some of us, I know, we are right-handed. You understand? If you are a right-handed person, guys, you will likely have your bag on your left arm. You understand the opposite, just in case if you need to grab something from your handbag. You know, if you are a right-handed person and your handbag is on your right arm, it will be uncomfortable for you to use your left arm, pick something, pick lipstick, you know, to do some little touch up here and there. You know, we ladies, hmm. it's not only ladies, even men these days, they carry handbag. <laughs> yeah, hey, what are the women? You guys should leave me alone. The king is, eh? this movie, <laughs> this king would. Nairobi fashion is making me laugh. Come and see how I was laughing. First of all, Roro Roro tied her clothes. You know, she prepared the whole scene very well. As soon as I saw her having her bag on her left arm, okay, being right-handed person, and she got her bag like this comfortably in case if she needs to grab something. That's what I mean. And all of a sudden, she changed to right arm. I said, okay. Let me continue. And then she brought out a t-shirt or cardigan or sweat, I don't know. Tied it around her handbag that was allegedly stolen away from her. <laughs> Mr. Kenge, you can do better. You and Roro Roro should hide yourself in shape. Guys, I said it with my full chest. I doubt if this was not arranged. I doubt if this was not planned. This is purely for what? <laughs> Activation of donation. I said it with my full chest. What are you guys not telling me? They went to a nearby police station. Why didn't they show us any footage? They just went there and they came out. The next thing is, oh, the police guy told me, welcome to Nairobi. He didn't do anything. No statement. Didn't show us how they recorded what happened. I don't know how it works in Kenya, where I come from, once you come to police station, police will ask you to make statement. What happened? Why are you here? Why do you need police? Why do you need our services? You'll be like, police, I was on the road. Someone snatched my bag away from me. My bag is this color. My bag contains A, B, C, D. The person, I got some footages. Mawa recorded it, of course. Even the way, my, <laughs> tell me who does this. Your girlfriend is with you. You left your girlfriend close to the road. Meanwhile, you know quite well. <laughs> David Junior will always raise an alarm whenever he is in Nairobi. Guys, if you are not careful, even 
on traffic, people will snatch your bag. <laughs> Whenever we are on traffic in Nigeria, my son will be like, Mama, be careful, you are vlogging. Be careful, especially if the glasses are down, like if we did not wind up the glass. My son will be like, Mama, be careful. Imagine 10 year old is aware of this. A 10 year old is conscious of his things. And you're going to tell me that Mr. Kenge did not know. Even the way they were moving around the street, guys. It was so weird. It was weird, weird, weird. Guys, I don't know if we should go back to London. Shona left Jamaica. Don't worry. Don't mind the fact that she's still uploading Jamaican videos. Of course, the outing that was sponsored by a subscriber, Airbnb, okay, that where they went to Ocho. <laughs> When they got there, they prepared this girl. This girl was all by herself. This girl was through and through lonely. <laughs> Even as they took her to the airport, come and see, fake hug, fake farewell. You can tell because they cannot control Sean. She knows that Sean is better than her. She knows that, oh, Sean is about to take over the show. So she cannot take it. Sean is not like Esther that D is manipulating and controlling. <laughs> Esther met this guy. This guy was talking to Sean. And Esther was asking this guy, have you been married and you are divorced? I have footages here. I hope time will permit me to insert it here. Otherwise, it is what it is. <laughs> Coco Baba these days, I'm very, very lazy to cut clips, you know. So, Esther was asking these guys relevant, Esther was asking this guy relevant question that any lady, any sensible lady would want to know. You can't just jump on because you have seen a guy. Meanwhile, Sean is not even available. Sean is still married as long as I know. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Now she's back to her husband in London. I don't blame her, but I hope she has learned her lessons. I hope she will know. <laughs> hey, next time, if you're going somewhere, don't go, don't rely on anybody. Don't go there thinking that, oh, I got a friend over there. She's gonna. Meanwhile, this is your friend doesn't know better. You understand? You can't even expect somebody who you, you know how far and you are expecting this person to lead you. It doesn't work like that. Now, Esther was asking this guy, have you been married and you are divorced? D gave, you know, non-verbal sign. D was like, tell Esther to shut up. Esther, shut up. Now, have you seen the difference between Esther and Sean? Sean cannot be controlled by D. That's why D repeatedly was the, exactly the same way D treated African T. D did not treat this girl any better. As soon as they left her at the airport, you expected her to take her to have a lunch, at least last, day, last lunch or breakfast or whatever before she leaves finally. No, D allowed her to go in. As soon as she bought it, D came out. And they went to a restaurant. Guess what Kino had? Shirims, G, Salmon, and Esther. Esther is now like a little maid of theirs. Esther had what? Waffles and chicken. Guess who paid dinner? Guess who paid D? D was paying and complaining at the same time. You've not seen anything. D was like, Kino, always have expensive meal. Mm, shrimps, very, very expensive. And Kino was like, no, it's not expensive. Of course, if you are not the one coughing out the money, it won't be expensive. You won't even feel it. He, he's the person that coughs out the money will tell you whether the meal is expensive or not. He's the person who coughs out the money. Is the person who coughs out the money will tell you whether the meal is expensive or not. Not you, because, I mean, at any time you see them ordering food and then showing the meal that they're about to have and not showing where the transaction is made, where payment is made. This is same case with Mr. Kenke. Whenever someone is paying for his meal, you will never see that part. But whenever he's paying, you will see him showing, you know, bringing out his wallet, showing where he has made payment. Same like D. Whenever you see D cutting off the payment part, just know it that she is the one that made the payment. Just know it that she's the one that paid for everybody. And that's why she did this after Sean left. Because Sean is getting embarrassed. Sean is like, hey, 
We expect Sean to come out and tell us what happened. Hey, Sean, from what I'm thinking, Sean will be exposing a hell out of the, especially when she can see now, you know, there are footages here and there that shows that D in the past gossiped about Sean. She says stuff like, oh, physically, Sean is not a beautiful girl. Look at her. Okay, let me say that on camera, Sean is a pretty lady, okay? Off camera. Of course, what do you think? There's no way you will look the same on camera and off camera. Some of us we look better on camera. Some of us off camera we look horrible. You understand? Some of us we don't care either. <laughs> off camera, on camera, makeup, no makeup. It is what it is. What you see is what you get. This is Coco Baba for you. I don't freaking care whether I look better or off camera or off camera. Whether I look better with my nasty makeup that I don't even know how to do or I look better without even doing anything. You understand? I don't freaking care. So long as I look at myself in the mirror and I'm okay. Tell me if this is something someone you called your friend will gossip you about. Tell me, guys. D is a handful. D needs to be spanked, like seriously. As soon as she left Sean, you can see that Sean left Jamaica. Not She left Jamaica horribly. She left Jamaica not wanting to go. But of course, guys, <laughs> this is not the first time. African tea is not even the first time. There's another guy, okay, the one that came actually for D, and I'm very sure that D was aware. But because of Kino, D dropped him. <laughs> guys, what does shall never end? I wish, I wish. Uh, this is my wish, guys. Now, it doesn't mean that Sean is that kind of a lady. Sean might decide to let everything slide. You know what? I've learned my lesson. I've seen that mm, people can really be double-faced. People can really say something and do the different. People can really say A and they're doing B. She might just let everything slide. But looking at her, imagine her at the airport, no makeup, nothing. I'm not saying that she must wear makeup, but you can see the disappointment. It's written her facial expression says a lot. It's written all over her. She was like, she gave Esther a hug twice, but D no. And D was pretending, oh, anytime you are invited, anytime you are invited, Kino was like, Esther, Please, we need to love our country more. Eh? This Kenyan confused human being cannot love our country more than us. G is that kind of a lady that will eat onions and then allow the guy to eat the fattest meat. And she's going to pay. After paying, she will come back to complain. Why didn't we see you know, coughing our money to pay for his meal? Why didn't we see Esther doing the same? Why didn't they eat together? Because she knows the thing go. She knows she has to keep enticing this guy. She knows she has to keep worshipping this guy. Otherwise, nothing. All of a sudden, now they are asking their audience, tell us where you want us to come. All of a sudden, last week it was a disclaimer. We are not in a relationship. We are just friends. This time around, they are asking their audience, same audience that they told to stop, you know, saying stuff about them, that they are just working together. Now they are asking them, tell us where you will want us to go, which country you would want to see us. Have you seen it? You do a couple things today, tomorrow. You, it's hard, we know already. <laughs> what do you think? The swimming thing, Esther, not being inside the pool with them, but was around, is written all over. Guys, can we start looking at the clips? We got to, we got to yeah. keep, yeah. keep a top track on you guys. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's been seven months. How are you? Good morning. Actually, uh, that guy over there just said hello to us. Uh, he has identified, uh, identified us in the streets. We're in the streets of Nairobi. We want to show you what's going on. I'm told today being Sunday is less chaotic, which is true actually. You can see the streets are kind of empty. And I was telling Rocio in her vlog, which I would recommend you guys to go and check, that uh, right now, 
it's the best time to film and also uh, it's less risky so we got this guess how much I was paid zero because the job was me as an intern so I worked in that building and this side the other side okay Guys, on a more serious note, Rororo is the most retarded human being I've ever seen currently. For allowing this guy to use her like this. Like seriously, must they do this? Has he gotten to this level? From having your from having your handbag on your left arm, all of a sudden you transferred it on your right arm and you are walking almost in the middle of the road. What were you thinking? And who even asked her to tie? Who does that? Who asked her to tie her dress on her handbag? This is another way of, you know, making sure that the guy will grab it. This is more like a movie. You know, it's easy. Mr. Kenke can do anything to activate for donation. Because now, Roro is claiming that she lost her GoPro camera. Again, activation. Another GoPro camera must be bought and replaced. Her GoPro camera must be replaced, of course. She claimed that she didn't lose her passport because she left her passport in the villa. How sure are you that Rororo is not with her passport? You think Rororo will leave the village without her passport? Think again, guys. The way they were even running, very, very unserious. There's no way if this thing is real. There's no way Marwa could have left Rororo in the middle of the road. And her having her handbag on her right arm, which is unusual. On the same video, she had her handbag on her left arm. Why sudden change? Why tying a dress around her handbag? Same handbag that was taken away. And there was another brother, brother driver that greeted them prior to this. It's easy for Mr. Kenga to walk up on someone and be like, we are shooting a small movie here. Just act like you have snatched away my handbag. It's easy. I'm going to give you 100 Kenyan shillings. But about that driver would do it, thinking that it's a movie. You understand? Where is the police statement? Why didn't they show us? Oh, police said that they would do what? Lies upon lies. Why is Mr. Kenge like this? Why? Oh, Thursday in Nairobi, but the welcoming. Like, seriously. Who wouldn't be careful with her handbag in the middle of the road? You have your handbag ready for someone to snatch it. Because you want people to feel sorry for you. You want people to start contributing and donating money so that they can start traveling. We know their tactics. We know this game. They can do better. They can act better. Hey, Mrs. Maya is on this table. Mrs. Maya. <laughs> For the last time, Mrs. Maya got it firsthand from Qatar Airways. Mm -hmm. Guys, I don't want to lie to you. I was shocked. I'm like, tell me about it. You've been married to this guy. You are Kenyan and he is Ghanaian. You've been married to this guy and you think marriage certificate, which I'm even asking myself, did they marry in court? Anyway, court marriage is not something loud. After all, even their traditional marriage was private. So maybe they are even married in court. But marriage certificate doesn't just give you a stay. When you marry to someone, you will now be able to get a paper from the government. Government will now recognize the marriage and give you resident permit based on the fact that you are married to a citizen. Should we be telling this girl this thing? Oh, we showed them. Oh, I showed them my marriage certificate. They think my marriage is fake. They don't freaking care about your marriage certificate. What they care is about your state. I'm a resident in this country. If I leave the country, anywhere I am, if I'm coming back to this country, the airline needs to see. Because if you don't do it, airlines will be sued and they will pay the government heavily for bringing illegal passengers to their country. And they will be forced to return the passenger back to the person's destination. So that's why they are doing these things. And if Mrs. Meyer was really, really right, like she claimed, tell me how I'm going to sue this airline. Tell me, you think you can sue Qatar Airways? 
<laughs> think again. Because I know very, very well, not just because I fly with them, I know their rules. They check the document, and it's not just Qatar Airways. Every airline is like that. It's either you have your resident permit, you have your passport, you have your visa. There must be something that ties you to that country. She said, oh, now I will start working on my residency. For two years, what were you thinking? You think you can just, mind you, she didn't travel from Ghana. She traveled from the Caribbean to U.S. Now she wants to fly into Ghana. Tell me who does that. Oh, they have upgraded my ticket to business class. Oh, at least they did something. That is not enough. That they gave you upgrade doesn't make you, if they are wrong, they are wrong. But she knows. So she has to balance it by saying that, oh, at least they recognize what they did. Guys, let's watch Mrs. Maya because I didn't even remember her. I didn't even remember that she's on this table. I was pissed, pissed, pissed off watching her. Can you imagine the inconveniences? First attempt, she missed the flight because of her luggage. She was SS. <laughs> of course, when you are traveling, if you are SS, you know, you prepare yourself for extra bag. Qatar Airways, depending on your destination, will allow you to have either one piece or two pieces. If you are going to Africa mainly, you will have two bags, 23, 23, 46 kg. If you are going to somewhere, like my colleagues that go to Yankee, they have only one bag, which can be 30 kg. For us, because it is what it is. <laughs> if they know in Africa, if they don't give it, you know, allies, they compete with each other. You know, they... Try to match up with, you know, for example, if uh, Ethiopian airline will give me 40 kg, you know, to go to Nigeria and come back. Qatar Airways will try to match up by giving either 40 or even making it 46, 23, 23. It must be two bags. It can be 10, 10 kg, but you can only have two bags, not exceeding two bags. Like you cannot bring 10, 10, 10, 10 kgs, six bags to make it 60 kg, no. It must be two bags. Okay? So they compete like that. Now, do you think airline will risk this one? Just because you have showed them your marriage certificate. Mrs. Maya, you should know better. Especially when you are not with your man. Especially when you don't have your return ticket. You are a Kenyan citizen with Kenyan passport. You've been to Ghana. No visa. You married to this person and this person did not give you paper. Hey, what are you guys not telling us? For real? Are you now thinking that Qatar Airways will just carry you? You know, I don't understand what made her feel like Qatar Airways will just, you know, let her, oh, show us your passport, Kenyan passport. Oh, my marriage certificate, I'm married to Kenyan big fish, okay? Oh, let's go. No, they need to confirm if you have a valid stay, a visa or something, resident permit, which I know she's entitled to have resident permit long time ago, or even the passport. She's freaking married to a Ghanaian. Is it not embarrassing? I think she shouldn't even, I think she should have even not shared this because she ended up disgracing herself. She ended up making herself look like she doesn't know what she wants. You were married, for example, okay, let's say the reverse was the case. Maya married to a Kenyan. Do you think because Maya married a Kenyan and Kenyan government is not aware of it, immigration is not aware, they've not submitted all the necessary guys, I don't want to lie to you, because people give people stay. It's something that they do under the table, you understand? Immigration, they know these things. I remember back then in South Africa, even the immigration will come and make sure that you are living with this person because they know that people fake these things. So marriage certificate is nothing. Even when you have submitted it, submitted all the necessary document, proof that you are really married to the citizen of this country and immigration has given you dependent, maybe they will give you a permanent stay or temporary stay, or can even give you the passport or whatever, okay? They still come there follow up with you to make sure that you are habiting with this person, you living with this person. She ought to know better. Rather than just saying, 
Guys, can you tell me how I'm gonna sue Qatar Airways? Like seriously, they will freaking sue the hell out of you, Mrs. Meyer, for your negligence. And I bet you, she didn't share the whole thing. How, look at what she said. She said, oh, they let her unrealize their mistake. <laughs> yeah, for real. For them to make you to miss your flight, you think they've not realized their mistake. No, they needed to verify. They needed to be sure, okay, that actually you are supposed to enter the country. They need to contact Ghanaian immigration. They need to be aware of what they are doing before they will allow you to come in. Or you can even get visa on arrival. Guys, I don't want to lie to you. Mrs. Maya might have even gotten visa to enter Ghana. <laughs> of course, what do you think? Have you seen why I was questioning a whole lot? Why did Maya leave Mrs. Maya behind? And she, she said, oh, guys, I had a great time in Miami. You can see Miami is very, very expensive. A night is 200 USD. It's not even including the food and everything. These guys, they are making me to regret the reason why I came to Miami. Uh, I'm even asking myself why you stayed there and you were busy with other guys doing your stuff. Guys, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I understand. I know as a content creator, you collaborate with opposite sex. You do all that stuff. I understand. But what I'm saying is, it was strange to me that she came in with her husband. Her husband hurriedly left, went back to Ghana, left Ghana, went to Tanzania all by himself. And his woman was there with other guys, almost naked. Mm? I have a problem with that. So I'm not even surprised that what happened to her happened to her. And the drama of being on a wheelchair is why I don't understand. What made her not to be able to work? Mm, the disappointment, tiredness, or is there something that we don't know? Maybe. If you fail to plan, you will plan to fail. Let's watch Mrs. Maya. Guys, this is bad. Like I've flown to the US so many times and I always go back. They say they need an I, 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 I identification card. Foreigners don't get identification card immediately. You must stay in Ghana for a couple of years to get an identification card. And I'm trying to explain to them and they are not having I'm just I just feel so frustrated. I'm just so done. Like I'm just so done. How can I sue this airline? How, please, if you know how I can sue this airline, drop a comment, let me know, because I'm just done. This is the second time. I was here two days ago. The, when I was here two days ago, I was able to go through. Um, um, the, only, the only thing that made me remain behind was the heavy luggage. So then I come again today, I paid for the extra luggage. I think everything is sorted. Then now they're telling me marriage certificate, I need an ID from, I'm like, what is happening? It's like they don't even know what they're saying. They haven't even done their own research. Ah, oh, God. Guys, I really... I'm so frustrated. Oh, my God. This has been my worst 24 hours in the States. I really thought I was going to live today in peace, but... Oh, my God. Guys, now I'm talking and no one is responding to me. I'm asking who they are talking to so I can get some information. I'm not being told anything, guys. I just feel so frustrated. I just, I honestly just feel so frustrated. I can't. Guys, let's move to the kinos, okay? Why do I have a feeling that actually Sean was driven away? Sean was indirectly not coming direct like they would they wouldn't be like you know what well, sure you need to leave i am the one that invited you even made you to fly business class you know to up your game <laughs> don't listen to people do your own thing you understand there's nothing wrong like i said flying a business class you need to spoil yourself if you have the money but you must not borrow you must not use your last card you must not use your savings just to impress 
to impress the empress, the Jamaican empress. <laughs> I love how Kino indirectly will shed at the and be like, this is our country. You can love our country more than us. Kino knows that D is just fake, 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 fake. D is basically faking everything. They were in a supermarket. This is a guy that claimed that he's not single. Okay. <laughs> I thought I have seen it. Oh. They had live stream last October and Chris was with them. Kino made it clear that he's not single. So it means that he has someone. You're not single, but 247, you are with this girl. You dine with this girl. You dive into the pool with this girl. You are 24-7 everywhere with this girl. Eh? Hey. Touchy, touchy. They were in the supermarket. D was like, hey. I said to myself, you know what? D is collecting her stuff. She's collecting this bola. She can't even control it anymore. Uh, and she wants even her audience not to say these things. She's displaying it to them, throwing it on our faces. We must not react. We must not talk about it. Mm? Touch it, touch it, touch it to you know, maximum. <laughs> even trying to manipulate and control Esther by telling Kino, please, can you tell Esther to stop? Can you tell Esther to stop interrogating? Can you tell Esther to stop asking this guy simple questions because all the shows, they don't care about your marital status. All the shows, they don't want to know to Esther. She probably was like, hey, I thought this guy, if he's married, he should respect himself, respect his partner. What is he still doing with another lady? No, to G is okay. To G, mm, you have sugar mamas, you have five sugar mamas from five different states. It doesn't matter. So long as I'm getting my dose, she's that kind of a girl. All the show, all the show vibe through and through. You look at her dressing. It's so, so off. This is not her personality. It doesn't blend. It doesn't blend at all, at all, at all. Okay? This guy is married or whatever, not single, okay? Has a girlfriend somewhere. When I ask myself, when does he spend time with his woman because he's almost like 24 7 with d and her drama and you can tell that he's not even like enjoying the drama let's watch the scene of sean back to london it's so nice the fact that in jamaica you can get inside the airport you can do this in kenya ah, i've just left you outside there even nigeria no nigeria <laughs> You actually can. No. You actually can. Look at the Jamaican flag. The good thing you're wearing the Jamaican t-shirt. Yeah. And the lady was so patient with me. It's good, huh? Jamaicans are just, I don't know, they're just too good. Okay, no, actually, I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> this thing is because... <laughs> bag. I want to get you a comeback with your bag. See, wow. You see, we, we, we treat foreigners nice enough, but it's so own. Hey. Really? <laughs> okay, so now I have to go. Departures is right here, so. Oh, when oh, the Amir travel, the place is not like this. Empty. <laughs> you know, the Amir travel is It's there. packed. It's packed. Yeah. Good. But you know, it it's feels like people here. just. People Monday. are coming, people are not leaving. Monday, you go, go on to. Monday, the same thing. No, I'm trying to try it here. I mean, it's eh? Let me go. 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 Let Hey, if you know, you know the team. Guys, a very much shrimp. Hmm. No, uh, uh, a shrimp and burn sauce. No, Esther, pour the way you normally pour, like shh, round. We need having our shrimp, Spanish rice, and more. Pineapple shrimp. All right, guys, we're closing the. A month ago, Wodemaya collaborated with Kola Smith. I remember Wodemaya asking Kino whether he was married. But the man wanted to give a shout out to Kino's woman. But of course, Kino will always act like flat, 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 that he's not married. You are not there, neither are you here. Which one is which one? But the man actually wanted to know the marital statue of Kino by asking that question. But of course, Kola Smith knows that D and Kino are marinating each other. But the man was naive and didn't know about this. Let's watch them. Becomes, we become real Africans. Yeah, mm. I love that. <laughs> mm, yeah. 
and the food tastes so great. Mm -hmm. Great. Because you are eating with your hand. Yeah. Great, great, great. <laughs> ah. <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hot, man. It's really hot. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me get Bro. one. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Thank you. Since we're here already, just follow oh, the path. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so when we're small. Ooh. Ooh. Huh. All right. So we just allow these to cook for a little. Some time. Everything nicely washed and... Are you going to put everything in there? Everything is going to go. <laughs> what is the cooking, man? <laughs> Trust me, you, you, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna enjoy this one. You look at Wendy was in Jamaica last time. The supermarket, shopping, everything about the spending was on D. D has been spending and spending. You will never... So out here shopping today with D and Kino. I get Kino. them for you too. You like them enough. No, I'll get the raisin bro. D, what are you cooking today? I can't know. Salt, salt fish. fish. So we're here together. So, uh, the salt fish. So D cooking Jamaica's national dish today, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. This thing is 10,000. Wow, Jamaica, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've bought 10,000. <laughs> All right, if you're gonna do the fry plant, you, you might need that. We might need if you're gonna do fry plant, we might need to get a bigger oil. Okay, we can boil it then. <laughs> boil plant, not taste good. Okay. Then <laughs> so, all this oil is going to finish today? No, but if it, I mean, okay. normally when you fry things, they use more oil. Yani, if you see D giving money to Kino to pretend like Kino is the one paying, right? Now, don't get me wrong. Because Kino's people will be like, Kino is a big guy. Kino can buy whatever he wants. Kino is independent. Kino can do without D. D is the one running after Kino. Kino doesn't care. You can say all that. But when a girl is crazy and mad, she won't even want the guy to spend. Because to her, she feels like, okay, I love this guy. So why not? Let me do everything to keep him happy, to keep him close to me, to keep him, to, to make myself, basically to make her feel like she's on top more than every other person that this dude might be with. You understand? Ironically, when the Myers came to Jamaica, they met up with this Kola Smith, okay? I wouldn't inherit anybody's enemy, for real. I was not surprised that the Myers met up with Colas Smith. I mean, they are what business partners. I mean, they are out to do what they do, what they got to do, create content. Does it really matter? But D could not stoop low. At some point, African T gave up during the carnival at Trinidad and Tobago. African T met up with the Maya, greeted, exchanged pleasantries. Does it mean that they are good now? No, but at least let everything stay like that. If they meet up tomorrow, they can talk to each other. They might as well not even talk to each other. They might even avoid talking to each other, but at least they have made an attempt. You think D, D is bitter, 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 control freak, control freak. She would expect Maya, even after what she did to Maya, leave me alone, Maya, leave me alone. Well, after all that drama, actually, she's complaining that reactors are always talking about her. What about what she did to Maya? Maya never mentioned her name. Why dragging Maya? Why coming after Maya? That Maya's audience are after her. That she's copying Miss Trudy. Which we can tell. At the end of the day, it is what it is. They copy each other. When the Mayas came to Jamaica, Mara people came for Mayas, they were like, oh, you are here because Mara came to Jamaica. It was Mara that first started this Jamaican thing. 
Oh, Jamaica, oh, Jamaica, why are you there? I thought you said you are pan-Africanist. I thought it's all about Africa to the world. Why are you stay on your lane? Guys, the table has turned around. You know, in the past, you will barely see Marwa spending even a minute in his country. Once he's done with whatever he's doing, he's gone. He believes that he makes money when he's outside his country. Now, I can't believe it. He's in Nairobi, roaming around. Oh, I need to show my woman. I need to show my lady Nairobi. Only now, after six months you've been with her, knocking her up and down. It's only now that you want to show her your country. Like, for real. The drama is unending. I don't feel sorry for Shona at all. This is what you see when you rely on someone, when you don't even know your own strength. You don't know your capability. You don't know that you are actually better than this person. Forget the fact that she was there before you. She was in Jamaica. Look at her. Oh, you are always welcome. Who is she? Is she a Jamaican? Let me even say, okay, probably Kino might help her get his stake. Still, that doesn't make her a Jamaican. She's acting too much. She wants to be on top. She wants to control the show. She's happy, happy, happy. You look at her face, you can tell that she's very, very, very happy that Sean is gone. And Sean is not happy to leave the way she left. Okay? Even though they are pretending. But we can tell. It's written all over. Guys, let's watch this other clip where D was touchy, touchy, touchy to Kino. <laughs> after touching, after eating and cleaning, my, after, you know, doing all these things, she will still come back to tell her audience, not me, because me, I know. Hey, I know enough to know that they are dating for sure. I know enough to know that they are knocking each other. They are chopping and cleaning mouth. Let's watch them before we call it a day. Oil is going to finish today. No, but if it, I mean, okay. normally when they fry things, they use more oil. Guys, have you seen that it's not today that G actually started paying for Kino? Hey, this girl, no wonder. Now I know why the advice, Mara advising his sister, please keep your money. Don't do this. Don't let these guys use you. You'd rather spend it on me, your brother. <laughs> rather than allowing these guys to be chopping your money. Since last year, November, this girl has been spending, has been spending. The latest one she did, she actually gave money to Kino to pay for stuff. And right in front of us, Kino embarrassed her and was like, take your change. <laughs> what a shame. Must you buy a man? Uh, must you buy love? Love should come natural. You should be where you are needed. You should be where you are needed. You should be where you are celebrated. It's as simple as ABCD. So finally, now I'm showing you guys where I live. So feel free to come and book it. You know, remember it's going to be there. The link is going to be in the description. You can built. come and book it out. Don't look it out, but you book can it book it out. out. You can look, but you need to book. Mm, beautiful houses, But it's guys. nice, though. Shauna, you, to you need to get one of these here for yeah. yourself in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Probably one of them costs probably about 20 million. Yeah, two, 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 two bedroom, one bedroom. Some two, some three, you know. Mm. But roughly, for well, two bedrooms, probably about 20 mil. That's not bad. That's yeah. how much you bought it for? Yeah. yeah. Big man. Big. So, you, yes, our two bedrooms. If you watch it this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. You are the bestest. Thank you all for coming in today to support Coco Mama like you always do. Thank you for your love, support, like, dislike. Thank you for all. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom, bottomness of my heart. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me allow you to give this video a thumbs up. Drop it with the water for Coco Mama. Yes. I deserve it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bring someone to the table. Tell a friend to a friend about Coco Mama. I'll see you all in my another water with the Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys. Like that she my brother, we gon' live forever. Money island to the mainland, pulling up in the beamer.